this episode of Growing Your Sense of Self through self-defense, we're going to have our first episode where we learn to fly. The technique we're going to be working on is called a falling skill. It's not really a falling skill as much as a rolling skill. You would fall from it if somebody came up behind you and pushed you hard up high, like the shoulders, pitching your head forward. And the roll out of that is called a cat roll. And it's a, it's a way to protect, we talked about it early at the beginning in face falls. The purpose of a roll is to spread, or fall, is to spread the impact out over time and space. The best way to do that is if you're rolling. You want to receive the ground when you do rolls, when you do falls, the same thing with a cat roll. So the technique, we're gonna do it low. This is just, like I say, the beginning of flight. We're actually not gonna do any flying in this episode. But this is what we build on to actually start our flying for a short amount of time in a cat roll, flying cat roll. So the technique we start to, to begin at low is uh, we put one, one foot up and one foot uh, down. You see, I'm going to go, go ahead and do it this way. Yet when I start to roll, I'm going to take weight on my hand. Let me see where my best angle here is. Uh, when I reach for the ground, this will be the first place I reach for the ground. The roll is going to come from this arm. So this is my wheel. So it needs to be firm. Typical mistakes are people just let this thing flop and they land on their elbow. It's a flat tire. You don't roll on a flat tire. Or you don't roll on a square. So you try to make as much as you can with two straight lines a wheel. And that's what you're going to roll on. And you keep the impact in a cat roll off of your vital organs, your chest, your head, your neck, by transferring the impact by rolling it across your arm, across your shoulders, uh, upper back, and not any of the vital spots. So we do that from a low cat roll. One hand here, this hand's gonna be my rolling hand. It's gonna roll with my head going under my armpit. This leg is gonna help me launch. And when I roll, I stay in a ball. A straight line doesn't roll so well stay in a ball and end up just how I start, just like this. So it looks like this here. Same way I start. So often, or typical mistakes are collapsing the arms. You have to be strong uh, with, with the arms. A lot of times girls have uh, more trouble with this. Uh, because their upper bodies tend to not be as strong as guys, they tend to, guys tend to focus on that more. So it's a particular physiology build. Uh, so you just have to focus more on it. The other problem is people will do is they want to do like a forward roll. And they'll put their arm like this sideways and they just roll down the middle. But that's not protecting the head, the neck, the spine. You're rolling right down those things. Now that's what uh, gymnasts, for instance, will do. That's how they do, like, do, they'll do dive rolls. Uh, and roll right down the middle. It looks prettier, but it's not as protective uh, from a self-defense or a falling uh, skill. So, hand there, this is your wheel. Don't let it collapse strong the whole way. You'll see it go through. Let me back up a little bit. You should see it stay, stay in this round position all the way through. It doesn't collapse. This legs my kicker. My head and my arm are going underneath. I'm not going down the middle. I'm not rolling on my spine. You can see where I'm rolling. Hit! This is where I start, all right? So, that's a low cat row. It's fundamental, we'll end up doing that higher and higher um, as we go on. I'm gonna do one from a standing position. Don't go to this right away, start low, but I'm gonna do one from a standing position. See if I stay on camera. Not so well, I'm gonna just kind of bend over. So from a standing position, the same thing. I'm gonna reach for the ground, reach for the ground with this, with this arm. If this arm just collapses and goes away, then I land on my shoulder. I've seen dislocated shoulders from people doing cat rows, high, jump, high jumping cat ro uh, rows or long ones, and they, they're not keeping this arm straight. They're, they're strong. So from a stand, hit. Right back. So if I got pushed from behind, I can turn right back at the person. Uh, see if I can get this on camera. 
Pop right back on your feet through a cat row. Um, low cat rows, fundamental building block to go on to ones to, to our flight, which is where we want to go. Now, one final point on it. It is a roll. It is not a slide. It is not a glide once you're going through it. It's a continual roll. So that's the transfer of the impact over time and space, and it's a way to protect yourself from inside. So, I've seen people cat roll over very high things, over very long things, and come out without a problem. Because they've learned to fly, they've learned how to land. Till next time, kamsamira. Toodles. See no green. Because I roll, it don't slide.